Good morning. It's great to see all of you today. I'm so pleased that the Holy Spirit led us to worship together at St. Paul this morning. You know, I like to say there's other places we could be today. We could be worshiping home at St. Celia and St. Serta, but we're not. We're here together as brothers and sisters in faith, and together to offer our prayers and our petitions for uh, all the blessings in our lives, and just to be thankful. And Thursday evening, we're going to do that again. I'm sorry, Wednesday evening, we're going to do that again in celebration of Thanksgiving. And uh, Thanksgiving Eve at 7 o'clock, we'll gather for worship to give thanks and praise to God for, again, the blessings in all of our lives. You're going to hear the Word of God today. You're going to read the Word of God today. And you're going to hear and read of God's love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior, Jesus. In addition to hearing and reading about the love of God, though, I pray that while we're together, you experience the same love of God. So if you're able, take a moment now, stand up, greet those around you in the love of God. so much to be thankful for. God has shed his grace on us. He has given us his son, his Holy Spirit, and through them we receive every good and gracious gift of love and mercy and peace and joy. The question was asked of us last week, is it possible for any of us to outgive God? No, we know that we can't. We're still being called by him to serve others, serve our families, serve our neighbors, serve our church, with everything we have, with all of our hearts, with all of our strength, with all of our minds. And today I see that we all would see the hand of God in the, the lives and actions of Naomi and Ruth and Boaz. We would also see his hands in our lives as he guides and directs us as his children and an important part of his plan. I pray that we would continue in our study of the story, of God's story, of our story, and open our hearts and minds to hear and learn of how we have been redeemed just as Ruth and Naomi were redeemed. Most of all today, I pray that you would begin to see the path that God has set his people on. A path that weaves its way through multiple generations to bring all of us who believe in the name of Jesus Christ to a future with every blessing of heaven. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for all of us making any plans for him.
That's all, folks.